they're just right there. They're thirsty. They're, they're still have, they still have the want to be able to get their first win in the regular season and they have the ability to do so. They've proven, proven it time and time again. And let's see if they're able to get it with Solari. What a statement it would be to be able to win against Solari in this matchup here since Solari is still the favorites and the reigning uh, step one winners. So let's see how it goes as we get into our 10 second warm up here. Oh, and this start, I totally forgot about this start. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's kind of interesting. Have, has uh, now, unfortunately, I haven't seen any of the matches, but has anybody messed up the start yet? Uh, we've seen plenty. We've seen a couple people having to uh, weave a little bit more, having to do more pronounced uh, snaking turns, thus losing a lot of time. Though we haven't seen anybody fall off the. Uh, uh, I don't think I've seen anybody from the Grand League side falling off of the first pipe uh, right after this particular section. We have seen some people fall yesterday during the Challenger League, though, but uh, I, there's not really any co kind of correlation between the rate of failure in Challenger League versus Grand League in this sense. So, I don't know. It will be interesting to see if we do get some casualties there early on as we're already getting started with the day. Make sure to use the Sinner's Emo in chat for those of you who are followed to the channel. It is, of course, free of charge. You can access it whenever you want to spam at your perusal as we are down on to round number one with Kappa. Having a bit of a sluggish start this time, and uh, dropping back one tenth and a half, but he instantly recoups that just after the transfer jump. Transfer jump into dirt section. Twain and Kappa opting for the Carlberg dirt option for that dirt section and getting a little bit more speed compared to Pack and Carl, but it's not going to be enough with that jump upwards. And now we are at the engine. Oh, it's not really that much of an engine off section now that I'm looking at it. As right now, Pack is far and away at the moment. Carl Jr. now eclipsing Kappa, and we see Tween already pretty far behind 0.6 compared to Pack. And it is kind of a catch up game for the side of Sinners here as we get to somewhat of the closing moments here, the identity here with the pipe here. Mm. And Tween is going to be the first casualty. Oh, Pack! Kappa! Is going to pass Pack as Pack has made a big mistake. Carl's going to be able to finish in first place. Is Tween going to be able to finish in third? Yep, yes, he's in he third. Is. And that is going to be the tie for centers. Yeah, I was more focusing on Kappa at the moment, but yeah, Pack going a bit too far off to the right hand side, and he has having trouble, uh, more trouble with the last pipe there. It's very easy to get a, your car a little bit off axis on that last pipe when it transitions from being a pipe to being more a piece of flat road. And uh, yeah, that little transition is enough to actually yeet your car up into the air. We've seen a couple people do that in the Challenger League. And uh, yeah, he's the first uh, casualty of that particular uh, instance uh, of uh, mistake there for Pac as... Uh, oh, little tween! Yeah, he's forced to respawn. He's going to double into the um, into the uh, booster, so he has enough speed for the... Um, for the transfer that is right up ahead. So far, Kappa going for the full uh, outside line, the Karlberg Dirt uh, section as... Uh, we, uh, uh, some people like to call it. I prefer to call full outside. <laughs> that's uh, that's an unfortunate one. He tried to go a bit lower. He tried to go a bit lower to get... He, he risked it, but unfortunately, he just didn't have the... Yeah, he tried to go like, for... precise enough line. Yeah, he tried to go for early ground contact, but he might have released a little bit too much, and that was a very big bonk at the very edge of the block there for Kappa. As fact, makes it through the pipe, but does lose a little bit of time in the process. Kappa will be able to see that and see... Uh, Pack B a little bit bigger on the screen in P3. However, he's a little bit too far to make any impact for now, so he has to rely on another mistake yet from Pack. Oh. And that mistake does come right on cue as we are going to be at least getting a point on the board here with Kappa finishing in second position. And I didn't even mention the times uh, so far with a 105.733 courtesy of Carl Jr. at the end of this round. Uh, the world record for Vortex is a 105.313 courtesy of Kappa from Alliance. Victory. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so. Kappa from Alliance, wait, what? Uh, no, I, I said Kappa from a, what? No, oof. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, brain brain kind of leaked there. No, I meant Mara. Mara? Uh, I meant Mara, ah, there you go. It wasn't a okay. name finishing there with an A, but I completely... I was like, surely it was Mara, but yeah, I wasn't surely, sure, yeah, so I had yeah, to ask. Yeah, it, it was Mara, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I flopped. <laughs> God All damn right. It. Now that now that I know uh, now that I can relax and know that I'm not going to be the only one making mistakes today. <laughs> now we can actually have fun here as we are getting now into the third round. Carl yet again leading 
now in this ice bobsleigh and does really well so far. I haven't really seen him make any mistakes compared to the rest of the pack here. Speaking of pack, he is the only Whoa. one on the side of Solari that's made some major mistakes. Almost makes a big mistake. Almost there, pulled a Skandir there. Cover. Yep, almost pulled a Skandir right there with Pack now, it's going to be up to the identity because that's where Pack has been really struggling. He has respawned both times now. Carl Jr. leading yet again. Pack, ooh, ooh that's <laughs> looking really close, but he's going to get a clean lead this time. And okay, now it's maybe about who has the line most for speed. Kappa? Kappa nah, is not, not going to be able to get him. And it is going to be the ace from Solari putting him up 6-2. to two. Yeah, nice race, though. It's, uh, it, it has to be said, like, it was uh, fairly clean from either side, although we did have a bit of a hairy moment for Pack. Uh, Midway through the round and uh, towards the identity, with that that last pipe and that succession of th of the three uh, high speed moving pipe blocks, it's always a butt clench from spectator, and I think it's also <laughs> a butt clench from the player side because especially at the last one, if you mu if you mess up the alignment at the exit, you know you risk actually running the uh, pipe a little bit too hard and uh, take that transition uh, that transitional gradient that sends you up into the air and completely sends your run into the trash can as Kappa does get a bit of air time, does get away with it though, so tiny bit of Kappa Airlines though, the landing was a bit harsh so he will be losing a lot of time in the bobsleigh section and yeah, this is pretty much a killer, one and a half seconds down as Tween does not really have any answer to the pace of the two uh, solo replayers, I mean it was the map pick of the Team Blue after all, so it was kind of expected that they would be the dominant force, but probably not quite as dominant as uh, I was probably expecting him to be with Carl uh, and Pack continuing to press on their advantage. I don't think anybody could have foreseen that on our, well, I don't think uh, we could have foreseen that on our end. And Carl, I would be interested to see what the time is. 0.5, okay, that is running pretty smooth and fast for Carl Jr. We are less than three tenths away from the live world record now. Yeah, he's getting faster and faster and more consistent more than anything else. He has not, like I said, made a mistake so far, round five already, and he's been clean every single round thus far. Clearly, the experience of a seasoned player coming in in that effect. But Tween is able to get a nice little start here, but uh, isn't going to be enough with that quarter or that, yeah, that quarter pipe jump there and is going to fall slightly back. What I noticed inter uh, interestingly enough, the Carl Dirk section, they have the exit speed, but then they have to release super heavily on that jump on the uphill. And that is what causes them to lose all that momentum. So it may not be necessarily the best idea to go on the outside dirt that's why carl and pack are likely going yeah. on the inside there i was trying to figure out why yeah. they wouldn't but now it makes more sense yeah it does make sense uh, but pack sliding out a little bit as we were talking about yep. that but yeah it is for one very simple reason you do have the exit speed but if you're trying to carry it all the way we've seen it people we've seen people attempting that during the challenger league matches last uh well yesterday basically and if you try to carry the speed all the way through, well, you end up having too much airtime and you have to compensate for that, forcing you to uh, release to uh, avoid having too much airtime and uh, actually taking the uh, reactor block as soon as possible in order to actually navigate the section as fast as possible just over the hill. In the meantime, Carl Jr. managing to secure the win with an individual uh, victory with a .538 and a 10-3 win for Solary who take map number one as we're going to be moving on to our first map pick which is Speed. As we said, very, very strong showing for Kappa and Tween. Probably the map where they feel the most comfortable because it's maybe a bit more of a classical map in the way that the sections blend together and how the layout actually sprawls out over the map. And also the sequence of corners is more of something that's a... Uh, Kappa and Tween enjoy. There's the snaking section right there. Not necessarily needing to Neo Drip, but you do have to have a very, very nice line. And of course, the identity. Make sure to actually have enough speed when you get that cruise control block. Because if you actually slow down dramatically trying to pass through, you can have someone basically just blow by when you actually cross the final turn and cross the finish line. So you can get sniped very easily there. Yeah, it is really about making sure you're maintaining momentum throughout the entire map. That's why it's called speed as we start with the first round here. And Carl, as every round thus far, kind of leading in the pack at the moment. Pack has made a slight early mistake at the beginning, but now he's got a lot of speed passing up everybody here. Almost Kappa just barely holding on. And yeah, now is going to be overtaken by pack. So pack had a really good section there was able to benefit from that really cleanly uh, or really well from his uh, clean play yeah. but ah i said he was clean and no he was not after that jump there is going to be making the mistake carl still fighting off kappa and tween 
thus far at the moment here. This might be a map uh, that Sinners can definitely compete on, though, as we've already seen uh, some pace issues from the side of Carl here, especially here at oh, this moment where Kappa forced to release uh, quite to dramatically, though. Yeah, Kappa had to reduce his speed dramatically, but it's still going to be enough to get the victory on the side of Sinners there. They're going to go up two to one, but we might have a competitive map, although round one, don't want to don't want to get mean, too excited. Tween there to pick up the slack. I mean, that is uh, that is of course something to be uh, noted. Marek there to actually pick up where Kappa left off and actually ensure the victory with a 104.7. Now, for the record, the world record is cracked on this one. It is a 104.003 from G1 Gwen. Th this guy is not a human being. I'm telling the I'm telling you that right now. He <laughs> there's no way a human could have driven that time. But they're not really that much human beings. I mean. Are they? Can can you actually prove that they're human beings? I don't not exactly sure. <laughs> In the meantime, Pack managing to take advantage of a bit of a different trajectory with much more speed through the drop down before the dirt. Now let's see if he's gonna be able to clear that plastic. It's another common pitfall actually, this plastic session, because if you try to actually get the running run down correctly to the uh, other side of the hill and land smooth, then you run the risk of actually bumping at the top of the hill and thus having a bounce that will actually cause you to lose more time because you're spending more time in the air that's not accelerating correctly. In the meantime, Pack though, entering the identity in the lead. Carl being harassed by Tween. Pack will be dramatically slowing down as he touches the pole. Carl Jr. getting reeled in by Kappa, but it's too little too late at the cruise control, so it will be Solary ensuring the draw will be in effect with another 0 .7, 0 .788, and Kappa just less than a tenth down. Tween managing to secure that third place. Pack having uh, lost a lot of time with the crash into the pole, but that's the risk you run when you actually try to uh, go through this identity of speed. There's not exactly anything you can do except just basically Play with the throttle, try to tap that little throttle pedal, trying to get the speed just right and also try to funnel your way through that section in between the poles and we've seen more than one, more than one people uh, breaking their teeth on that particular identity as we're already onto round three following Tween right now. Carl Jr. carrying so much more speed, Tween forced to save it, he did not have the right alignment in the second half of that high speed section and he's going to be pretty much concealed at the bottom, six tenths down, meanwhile Kappa continues to keep contact with the duo up front. Yeah, Kappa's still maintaining his pace with the Solari duo there. Tween is a little bit further back, 0.7. But a small mistake or or even just even the minor adjustment we've seen has costed several tenths on some of these players here. But right now we are getting close to the finish here. The identity, so to say, here. Carl Jr. is going to be leading, but he has to make oh, no. an adjustment. Pack is going to uh, crash. Tween! Tween! A, a, Oh no! Is he make oh, it? no. That's so, oh, that is so unfortunate. He was arriving with so much more speed compared to Carl Jr. But unfortunately, he ended up not open, uh, not uh, turning in too uh, early enough to the corner, the final corner, and head on smack into the wall, and thus allow Carl Jr. to retain the victory. And with Pack in third after the crash from Kappa, that means we are back on an even footing on the score, four to four. Now, at least it's still tied, so nothing major happening at the moment here. Pack, though, having, I would say, the most trouble out of everybody here so far at the moment. And Carl still being relatively consistent. Man, Pack. Um, <laughs> thus far. Pack and going... Man. Pack tried to go for the very, very, uh, very wide entry there, going all the way around the outside. He almost brushed the wall, which would have been catastrophic in that circumstance, but the Englishman somehow made it through. In the meantime, Carl Jr., the Canadian, continuing to lead, though the landing from the plastic is not exactly optimal. Oh, for the uh, for the Canadian once again, so he will allow Pack and Tween to move up into first and second, and the exit from the 90 left is even less optimal, allowing Kappa to move through into third place. Though he doesn't really have any pace to reel them in, he has to rely on mistakes from those up front. Tween currently leading ahead of Pack in the identity. Pack trying to carry a bit more speed, releasing a lot less compared to Tween, and he's going to be overtaking them and securing that win. No, he's actually going to touch the wall just before the finish line, allowing Team to swoop past and move back up into the lead, and thus Sinners retake the lead again, six to five. Thank you, Pack. Very cool. Pack being the savior of Sinners on this map so far and uh, gifting us uh, points, which is very nice, and we'll definitely take those as we move on now into the following round here and it's really kind of up to pack i guess in this regard to kind of clean up his mistakes as he is really the only reason that solari hasn't really closed this out because i mean they do have the pace slightly over sinners here um and it's been s close but we've seen con consistently that solari does have a slightly faster pace 
as we go through each element here. Everybody is side by side for right now here. This is the closest as we, we have come so into far. the jump. Who's going to get it clean? Everybody's going to get it relatively clean. Yeah, Pac's going to get the most speed, though. Yeah, though Carl is, uh, has had a little bit too much airtime compared to what he needed to be, so he falls back down temporarily in P4, and we seem to have a casualty. Yeah, indeed, Kappa did not get the right line in the 90 left-hander, so it is up to Tween to try and hold the four, oh. but he's going to brush the wall just at the end of the snaking section. So Carl and Pac will slide right in to move up into the lead in second position, respectively, with Carl and Pac just securing that ace to move back up into the lead of things with a point nine oh five at the finish line for Carl Jr. Unfortunate mistakes here. It see it's is it's always kind of like going that way. It's a uh, it's not exactly a coin toss, but just tiny clicks here and there where it just it just it's it's kind of undescribable. It's uh, it's really dumb ways to lose rounds, but not really much you can do about it, unfortunately. Yeah, it's it's kind of one of those things where sometimes it just the game doesn't want to. Oh cooperate with you i guess in that regard when it yeah. comes to uh just putting in those hairline distances between making a mistake already uh, those hairline distances from uh the border because you're having to take these turns so tight and close to each border on the turns especially at high speeds can be somewhat difficult to kind of judge and so really you're just kind of rolling the dice in that regard pack and carl at the moment still leading over kappa point three right now but we could see a mistake it's been happening multiple times here but we're getting close here to the end with this small section have to release a couple times before we get to the final right tech drift and now we're in the solemn here pack does have ah, less speed Kappa but kappa is gonna pole. hit those poles and carl is just gonna go ahead and finish along with oh. pack, and that's gonna be the ace and the second map for solari putting him up two zero yeah that's a that, that's a painful way to lose a map but i mean props to carl jr driving a 0.411 that is <laughs> that is a stout time it is nothing to scuff out like driving a 0.4 here on speed as uh yeah indeed the second map falls in the hands of solari as we're moving back onto a solari pickup next it will be grip although it has to be said on grip versus the carmine corp they have a uh, uh, Sinners had had a pretty strong showing, uh, just losing the map ten to nine, which is nothing to scoff at when it comes to uh, facing off a team that is as talented and as highly followed as the Carmine Corps Brendan Otak. And here, the interesting thing between day one and day two, they had to five days to basically learn about the uh, alternative trajectory on the uh, plastic part just after sector one. This long plastic part that you can see here at the right of, on the left hand side of the screen, they had to go up and underneath while well, underneath the pole just do an inside pole line while avoiding to clip the left hand side at the edge of the plastic it is a very very tricky one but is is un uh, ultimately worth it in the long run because it gives you so much more speed for the jump onto the little ice patch before the dirt it just can tends to snowball you're able to gain at least a couple of tenths, if not half a second, if you pull it off correctly. As we're moving on to round number one, following the call junior, everybody go for him for the inside line. Kappa did not manage to make it just right. He had a little bit of air time, so he's gonna hit the pole, survives, but you can see he's gonna be costing himself a lot of time. In the meantime, Tween, Pack, and Carl got it pretty through, pretty much unscathed through that section. And so it will be Tween and Pack battling for the lead right now. Underwater we go with Pack and Tween swapping positions. Carl still sitting in third position, just behind him, waiting for his time to strike. Tween now versus Pack through the identity. Can he try to reel him back in before the ring, the, the identity, and the finish ring the bell? Pack still holding the lead, but by the skin of his teeth, Tween to the line. Not quite for 30 thousandths of a second. That was a close race with a 101.491, courtesy of Pack, who still holds the world record with a 0.343. Yeah, a little unfortunate with Kappa going a little wild on that plastic section that you were just so excellently explaining because I saw exactly what happened after you explained it. So it was nice to see uh, how that turned out. But unfortunately, it didn't turn out the best in terms for our side there with Kappa making the mistake. So hopefully he's able to correct that mistake this round here. He's going to fall slightly behind from the quarter pipe jump, though. So he did not get the best landing there. So here we go. Attempt number two does uh, is able to make it through that plastic section here. Pack and Carl going to lead, however, with Tween losing some speed on that landing uh, after that previous section there. And so now they do have to play a little bit of a catch up game going through these next elements here. Tween going a little wide, but he's going to be able to make it just fine here. Pack and Carl still going, but here's the identity. Kappa has quite a bit of speed, might be able to catch up, is gaining some ground yeah, on Carl really now. Man. 
And he's reeling. Packin as well, potentially. Nah, Pack is too far no, ahead. Not... Ah, Paul is going to snipe him at oh, the end, that's though, because so painful. the inside. And that is going to be the ace. That's so painful. 33 hundredths of a second is going to eclipse Kappa. And that is going to be a three-point deficit rather than, oof, yeah, or a four-point deficit now. But, yeah. Yikes. Yeah, but... that, that, that one stung. That one stung quite a bit, I'm not going to lie, because I feel like Kappa was able to reel him in. But ultimately, the exit from the final part from Carl Jr. was a lot better than that of Kappa's, because he was way far on the inside. He turned him way earlier compared to Kappa, who was opening up a corner a little bit more and to try and carry a bit more speed down the line. But ultimately, it did not pay off, and that allowed Carl Jr. to slot into second position. Pat getting a little bit of a clip there. What? <laughs> That is a free <laughs> that is a free yellow card there, sir. He does not lose any so time lucky. from that. Tween and Carl Jr. now going toe to toe for the lead of the race. Pack the insanely lucky guy continues to keep visual contact with that battle. Kappa is also not that far off behind. He's only four tenths he's behind the leader, and he's gaining on Pack as well. Yeah, good point. As we're heading into the identity now, focusing on Tween versus Carl. The two are ghost within ghost right now. Pack actually, Cop, uh, Carl Jr. going to the inside of the line compared to Tween going a bit wider. He's gonna lose out to Pack in the end. Ah, that's painful. Sixty-one thousandths of a second between the top three, though. That was an insane good race but ultimately solary are on top eight to one for the reigning champs who are now on map points number three with just two points worth left between them and map number three in the books yeah that was super unlucky at the end with tween just not having the speed uh to get into the finish right before pack and so now they're at a situation eight to one it's not pretty it's not going to be pretty going forward. They would have to ace out pretty much at this point. And yeah. Tween making the mistake already early on is not going to be helping any matter whatsoever. Oh, Carl? Oh, Carl making an uncharacteristic mistake. Yeah, as far as the yeah, first make mistake made. Hit was going hit with the in, right rear and basically was sent off into the wall. So for, ultimately forced to respawn. So that's one key contender down. So yeah, now it's just kind of down to pack to uh, kind of... Keep it oh, solid, and he's not going to! He's going to slide out there, and now Tween and Kappa have the opportunity. If they just play this safely, they are going to get the ace, and then we might have a game on our hands in this third map here with Kappa and Tween now being able to finish it up here. They are going to be able to finish it up, and that is going to be the ace for Sinners, putting it up 8-4. to four. Yeah, it's we, not over yet. It's not over. We take those. And also, the time is nothing to scoff at from Kappa as well. A point six. I mean, those times are respectable. Like, getting a getting a mid point one is already insane. But Pack and Carl, when they are just getting their rounds in, they are able to drive even faster than that. They're always able to get into the point fives, point fours on a consistent basis. So, having those kind of opportunities is something that Sinners should not miss at any time. They were able to seize that opportunity this time, and they need to seize other opportunities when they do come by as we are moving on to round number five. Still map point for Solary, just two points left for them to collect, but Sinners managing to climb back to just a four point deficit now as we're moving through the first sector. Pack a little bit slower, two tenths down compared to the rest of the field as they move all the way through the plastic part with the reactor line going through the ice with an early landing for Tween trying to carry so oh, much speed but basically much. brushes the wall enough to trigger the acceleration penalty of course Carl Jr. will be promoted at the second position pack up the third as well Kappa continuing to hold the lead nice and easy but he's getting reeled in by the five-time world champion right now this is going to be very very tough to hold him off as we're on to the identity with the perspective of Carl Jr. now pack also trying to get back up with his teammate to try and tandem this together but Kappa should be able to hold the lead up until the very end and yes he is Ooh. pack also getting reeled in by tween not oh, enough at the end the point top. six one four he could have actually got a victory and tween missed the the bar the, the yeah he the went a bit too finish so yeah to say, went a bit too low yeah. went a bit too low because it is a kind of a speed check jump in a sense yeah and he actually could have sniped a pack at that moment too which is kind of a bummer but hey i mean at least it's a tie so you still have you still have one round pretty much or two if you get the ace but yeah you have one round to try to make something oh. happen carl or sorry That's pack, pack is going to make the first pack he's supposed to already. respawn yep he's out of it pretty much so now it's tween and kappa versus carl so they have to be able to fi fend off the monster that is carl and Carl only makes one mistake so far in this entire match. And yeah, it's it was an uncharacteristic one at that as well. So now 
it really has to be up to tween and kappa to be able to have the pace to be able to overtake him right now tween doing a fantastic job kappa has to be able to keep up this momentum and carl is on the heels oh of no tween that's so makes no a big mistake kappa has to go wide and carl is uh... given the opportunity now to be able to finish in first tween pain ah uh from the clutches of victory they uh, snatch it away oh <laughs> uh, that that's that 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 sucks that's really sucks because tween was looking to be pretty solid up front and uh, yeah unfortunately it's tiny misalignment just before the final corner and that was it that's all she wrote on the uh, grip as we're moving on to our next map which is going to be a sinner spec which moving on to breaking now an identity with uh, a concept of map where you basically had to regain your grip very, very quickly to make it through a series of turns. And actually, there are two different strats. There are those that actually just stand on the brakes, fully stand on, stand on it to the point that their ass lifts off the bucket seat. Or you actually have the those that actually do a little bit of a... Uh, of a ch I don't know if you can call it the cha-cha slide. I'm coining that in because they just basically make the rear move from left to right to try and drive the tires a bit quicker so that they can regain the grip to make the corners pretty much nice and easy with full grip as we're getting underway 3-0 for Solary now is the time to shine for centers they need to mount a challenge and quick yeah and this is kind of a difficult map to kind of do that on as mm -hmm. well because it is so technical and precise uh not not tech don't confuse it with tech everybody but as far as the the mechanic with the water you have to be so precise with your drifts and trying to cancel that water those water tires otherwise uh you're gonna have a rough time also ice section too is not not necessarily oh. the easiest pack gonna be the Bonk. first victim though and Smacking at the worst that little circle there yeah worst part he he smacked it before and uh, got sent down uh, out of the ice line before hitting the trigger for the uh for the checkpoint so he's forced to double respawn from a standstill so he effectively cannot help his teammate who's currently having a battle between uh, himself and kappa tween unfortunately taking a bit of the pillar from the cp just before hitting it so kappa is the only man left to defend off carl jr through the identity both actually carl jr going for a bit more of a slide compared to kappa who just does one before Ooh. just standing on the brakes and watch out here it's very easy to go a little bit too wide and hit the wall on the outside or the bears oh. on the outside it's done for kappa who's going to be Crossing the line with a 113.287, which is a really quick time for the record. The uh, actual live world record on this map is a 0 .035, courtesy of Gwen from Gamers First. Victory. Yeah, but that was actually a nice identity from Kappa. He yeah. took it very, I mean, he was very risky with it, but he did it very cleanly as well. And so Sinners, especially on the side of Kappa, needs to be able to reproduce that every time. Uh, you're with especially the caliber of team opponents that you're going against in the form of Solari as they are typically on their top of the game, especially with the side of Carl. Their pack is really fast, but it seems to lack the consistency that Carl has and has been kind of slightly a hindrance towards the Solari duo. But honestly, Carl is so good and pack when he's not making mistakes like right now is so fast at the moment Ooh. and is still maintaining his lead for right now. Yeah, the ice slide was well, very. Say that. Yeah, well, the ice slide was very, very clean though from Pack this time around. Doesn't make the same mistake twice in two rounds as uh, he continues to uh, have a battle with Tween. Now Tween needs to make it through the CP unscathed. Yes, although we did see the uh, left here hanging out a little bit towards the outside. There, Pack having an advantage of two tenths. We also see Carl Jr. right in the mix with the Sinner's voice, and you can see the differences in approaches compared in terms of the slide angle and the number of wiggles or like the cha-cha slide. Unfortunately, Tween gets ejected by touching the neon on the outside. Pack very, oh. very slow though. That's gonna allow at least one point to go on the board for Sinners on this round. Being the gracious man that ESPAC offers yet another set of points <laughs> and uh, basically makes it so that it is only a tie and not a lead for Solary. Three to three. Yeah, like I said, it's really kind of down to pack on the side of Sol Solary to be able to close these games out as Carl has just been so dominant and consistent. Is, as pointed out, one of the most consistent players, especially in stage one, uh, making the least amount of mistakes and yet again making the least amount of mistakes so far that i've seen and yeah just insane pace and uh, and gameplay from the canadian french canadian player but focus focusing on this round round three i'm trying to get my brain to wrap around what's happening right now with tween leading at the moment here kappa and pack fighting for last essentially at this point 
as they have fallen back a full second. Carl sitting 0.5 behind Tween right now. So Tween has a nice little comfortable lead and is in a good position to finish first here, but has to be able to make this section cleanly. Does so. No. Oh no! He hits the inside corner as he just did not judge the speed that he had there. Yeah, but so right. now Carl right, is right. going to be able to take over and Kappa is going to be able to sit in second here, right behind Carl. Is it gonna be enough to keep away Pac? It should be enough. Oh, Pac made a mistake, actually. Oh, and now so we're Pac on the is behind Tween, and Tween is gonna get in third there, and it's gonna be another tie, four to four. Well, <laughs> luck is on our side for this time, but th that's actually the thing that's uh, that's a good point. He did not necessarily have uh, have not enough speed. It's that with the, I feel like with the tires being frozen, he has a bit of a, I feel like the car has a bit of a tighter turn radius. I feel like, I think that's what some people seem to uh, seem to have said. So maybe he tried to uh, get a little bit of a uh, earlier turn than expected as Carl and, as uh, Pack and Kappa unfortunately touched the wall on the outside, which is very easy to do. After the first, the competition uh, first for last again. yeah, competition for well for third place because whoever wins that's going to be uh, giving the uh, the team who is ahead the upper hand. That's the main well, thing. They're both making so many mistakes. They're seeing who's going to be last first, essentially. Right? I mean, that, Does that make sense? I mean, there there is that, but even the battle for third is still has some implications and it's still very much interesting to follow as we're going through the ice section with both Carl and Tween who are having pretty much identical lines through the ice slide and they're looking very very clean right now. Tween managing to hold a lead of a tenth and a half compared to the French Canadian world champion as uh, we are moving back with Pac and Kappa. Pac did not have the best of speeds uh, from the exit of that hairpin turn on the downhill, so he will be falling back a teensy tiny bit behind Kappa. And it seems as though Tween, oh, yet yeah, Tween no. has crashed out in the uh, first part of the identity. That uh, little uh, foot bath section, as I like to call it. Oh. Carl Jr. getting uh, a little bit ahead, but Pac also falling back down. No, Pac down in third, and uh, Tween forced to respawn. And that means it's going to be the win for Solary, who are going to be taking the lead with a 0.625 for Carl Jr. ahead of Kappa by 7 tenths of a second. Not really anything stopping Carl Jr. at this point as uh, we're moving on to a 6-5 scoreline. Sinner still making decent progress. Yeah, they haven't they haven't let Solari run away with the lead, and they haven't really gained a massive lead for themselves. But they've been able to keep up with Solari, and that's mainly due to the mistakes by pack for the most part here um tween has had really good pace every single round and then right before the identity it's just that left turn he just makes a mistake every single time right before he's able to get the identity and that's where he's really just needing to clean it up and then he could actually be getting some first place finishes here right now pa kappa making a mistake again is already a full two seconds i think nope a second and a half behind which is not good uh, putting Tween in another precarious position, and Tween has not been the greatest at the very end. So now Pac and Carl Jr. sitting in a very comfortable position here with the, at minimum, at least looking like they're going to get a victory. But hey, anything can happen here as we get to the final couple turns here. This left turn, Pac and Carl Jr. doing it just fine here. Tween has to be able to hope that they make a mistake, but Carl and pack are doing just fine making the left turn is going to make it clean yes they are next bridge here that they got to slow down just a smidge They're and it's going to be nice and clean and that's going to be the ace Ooh. for solari very quick 13.2 I mean, my hunch was right. I was like, yeah, they're looking hella quick after that, that particular identity. And yeah, they were indeed quick. 0.293 for Pac and a very low 0.3 for Carl Jr. as well. There's not really anything tech that can actually follow them right now. And yeah, Kappa, unfortunately, for the second time in a row, has been uh, getting a little bit too wide here at this section where it's... Uh, we've seen it in the Challenger League yesterday. People tend to... Uh, some people tend to go a little bit too wide and hit the uh, outside wall just below the grandstands. And that penalizes them so much because it's an engine off section. And Pac getting ejected on the side of the pool so forced to respawn and uh, try to make it through unscathed carl jr currently holding the fort and he just needs to get a second position this is pretty much the round for solary to lose right now as uh, carl jr just needs to get either first or second to guarantee the point goes for themselves and uh, close this out on the uh, 10 to 5 or on the uh, 11 to 5 or uh, 11 to 6 or 10 to 6 scoreline for a clean 4-0 sweep Tween right now trying to uphold the honor versus Carl Jr. This is kind of like winding back the clock again to like something like 10 years ago when these two were battling for the world championship honors, remember? Though he had a little bit of a uh, 
a penalty from the snow there, Tweet. So he's going to be falling back down. Three tenths down on the leader. Carl Jr. holding a steady, fast lead. Seeing Kappa getting reeled in a teensy tiny bit, but not that much. This is going to be ne the need for something bigger if we need to actually get this round on our hands. But it's not going to be enough. It will be the round win and the map and the match. I mean, it's game, set, match pretty much for Solary. 10 to 6.